Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, let's talk a little bit of concussion, right? You're talking boxing. You get hit on your head in boxing, right? So you can get concussed. And you ain't in a rush to do so. That's why you avoid punches, right? But seeing as though boxing is BAM, BTBG, which means beat the black guy. Uh, you know, a lot of people lose this thought. You know, you evade too many punches, especially if you're of color. You could be running. You could be called boring all of a sudden. Even though you're bringing the action, you're hitting the dude, but you're not getting hit. So many people watch boxing because they're looking at this brother. I'm trying to see his face get bashed in, and that's not happening. And then all of a sudden, it can become boring. A good example of that is Mayweather versus Pacquiao. After that fight, that fight was labeled as boring fight. And it was far from it. You just watched a genius at work be able to neutralize the second best fighter of all time in Manny Pacquiao, a whirlwind, a guy who throws a whole lot of punches and bunches and all those things and gives you angles and his calves are so big, his feet work, he has a lot of power coming from the legs, all those wonderful things. But two straight right hands in the first round got your boy Matty Pacquiao in timid mode. What was boring about that? It was awesome to watch, I thought. And then I, another thing I always like to say is for the people who were going for Pacquiao, which was most, in rounds four and six when Pacquiao landed a few punches, were you sitting in your seats or were you jumping up screaming at the TV in joy? Don't forget rounds four and six. Were they boring to you? No, you weren't. Your heart rate was running and you were happy. So, and Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, I'll get to them in a minute. But as of right now, I just want to give you an example of BTBG. We have a fight between some people's number one pound for pound, but definitely a top three pound for pound guy in Naomi, Naomi Inui, right? The little monster beating up people was undisputed at 118 pounds. Because he won that WBWS tournament. His claim to fame, his best wins are over Donito Donaire, right? He had one close fight with Donito Donaire. We don't get to, um, we don't have to forget that, where he got his eye socket broke messing around with Donito Donaire, but he beat him. And then the next time, he knocked him out early. So, uh, you know, this is a monster. So he said, you know what? I'm going up to the next weight, 122 pounds, and looking for whoever's the baddest dude up here. I ain't coming in here trying to go through the back door and look for somebody easy. I'm coming up here trying to, who, who's the best one? Okay, Stephen Fulton. You the one, I want you. And Stephen Fulton, and it's the same thing. That's why kudos to both of these guys. Like, thank God I got this dude coming up here. Yes, I want you. Matter of fact, so much so that I'm going to your house, to Japan to do it. I'm about to get my inner uh, Julius Ndungo and Alexander Ozick on and go to Japan and take your title over there. That's what he's trying to do. So these two guys, you know, this fight is going going down on a Tuesday. I think that's the 24th, if I'm not mistaken, 24th or 25th. It's going down this week. And, it, you know, we all hyped about it because you, when you have a pound-for-pound pound guy in a fight, it's it's big right there. And Naomi Inouye is probably not number one because I got Crawford there, but he's up there. He's up there and because he, he's winning his fights and there's distance between them except for the uh, – no need to denier fight. Other fights that were distance. And I think that, you know, the guys that are in that top echelon, pound for pound, should have distance in their fights, not too many close fights. That's what we're saying, pound for pound, because sometimes we forget what that means. That means if you were any weight, you would beat anybody in any weight. So when we ha keeping that in mind, then you got to have distances in your fights, because that means in your weight class, you have to be, you know, heads and shoulders above the rest, right? Basically. So, but anyway, we're coming to something that is not so tasteful. And what that is, is we're hearing reports that um, Stephen Fulton's team, they brought it up, that Noe, uh, Noe has been tampering with those, his gloves, right? And what he's doing, he's, you know, taping and gauging, taping and gauging a little bit too much, where the tape is touching your skin and it's not supposed to. And you hear all of the, uh, you know, the, the guys in boxing who knows exactly what's going on, saying that this could really... Uh, enhance your punching power uh you know you know uh tim bradley was even saying even 10 times so um and so <clears throat> you're not supposed to be taping your hands like this right and so 
we're going to see. Matter of fact, Stephen Fulton's team has come out and said we're not going to fight if his gloves are uh, done like that. Um, if his um, wraps, not the gloves, but the wraps, if they're done like that, they're not going to fight because it's actually illegal to do so. Right. And for us, because it turns into cement under under your gloves and we don't really want anything like that. And I think basically no one should want that. But according to reports and a few things I've seen, you know, there's people basically, you know, saying Stephen Fulton should fight him no matter what. Right. And then we, what do we get when we get to that back here? BTBG. Why would you want a fighter to fight under unfair circumstances? No matter where he's from, what he looks like. Right. We're talking about hitting on the head. If somebody's gloves or he has cement under his gloves, why would you want somebody to fight? Fight him. Anybody. You know why? Here. That's why. Because it doesn't matter. Proof? That's what we're getting from Stephen Fulton versus Naomi Inouye. We should be getting, damn it, Naomi Inouye better get that to stuff together because we're not accepting any damn uh, any glove tampering or any uh, cement under the gloves. Get that together because we don't want nobody fighting that. That's what the general consensus should be. There should be no other thing unless this is still rumored. Let's see if he's doing it 100% or not. If so, everyone in unison should be saying we're not accepting that. We don't want nobody to be getting hit with cement. Do we? Right? But here, let me just give you examples why that makes a whole lot of sense. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury tampered with his gloves. Right? On many occasions, with Christian Hammer, right? With um, the other guy that was from, from England, I forget his name, John McDermott, his sparring partner, Nicholas Asbury, right? Was telling you that he did it in sparring and they explained why. On many occasions, then we see pictures of how his gloves are flapping when he's fighting Deontay Wilder, right? And the general consensus was Wilder's nuts and we're not investigating. That was the general consensus. So, and when Wilder's case, also, he's fighting a guy, he, even Stephen A. Smith said Wilder shouldn't have fought because he was 40 pounds heavier. Why we got weight divisions, but I, I got to fight somebody that's 40 pounds heavier than me. Right? That's what Wilder wanted to do, tried to do, and still had him on the canvas every single fight. But we see glove tampering from a guy who's a whole lot bigger, right? And we say don't investigate it. Let me give it to you again, BTBG. That's the only reason. There would be no way if everybody both looked the same, that if they both look the same, your natural reaction is, hey, wait, there's a guy 40 pounds heavier who has cheated on his gloves often, and we have uh, someone saying that he could possibly be doing it now. Every perfect normal person would say, we're going to investigate that guy because he's an a offender. He's already done it before previous offender right he's already done it before so we're going to check him obviously you check a thief right who's a known thief you check his bags before you check somebody who's never stole nothing it's just the same thing but we didn't want to even check it out we didn't even want to investigate it at all main thing is the brother got beat by a guy 40 pounds heavier than him yes we get back to that now, don't let's go over to Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, 2009, supposed to fight. Manny Pacquiao about to get his biggest payday and everything. And Floyd Mayweather just said, listen, Pacquiao's coming up a whole lot of weight divisions. So that doesn't seem normal to me. Not bring punch of power with you. You can come up. But normally you don't bring punch of power with you. So can we just make sure that we're going to be getting drug tests for this biggest fight that ever? We want to just get drug tests. Right? Manny Pacquiao denies it. Says he scares the needles. Already tatted up, but scared of needles. Do you know the general consensus was Floyd Mayweather, what, who, who are you to ask for a drug test? Not dudes, we want drug testing for this biggest fight ever that is fair. No, here, that's why. We don't want fair. The brother's face got to get bashed in at all cost, right? Fairness. Damn it, the dude who didn't take the drug test, he's supposed to get, the, uh, people supposed to be upset at him. There's no other option if nothing's wrong with you mentally. Stephen Fulton, people supposed to be looking at Naomi Inui, Inui right now. Damn it, get your glove situation together. We don't want nobody being hit with cement. 
Tyson Fury, you're going to get your gloves checked because you've messed up a thousand times before. We don't want that. See what I'm saying? Turn it off the camera when, they, when you're doing your gloves. Stuff like that. We're going to at least investigate. That's when people think normal we would do that. But it's not normal. What it is, is beat the black guy. That's why I call it that. That's why boxing's that way. Let's see what happens with Stephen Fulton and Inouye. We want to have the fight, but damn it. We definitely want it to be fair. Just like those other things I was talking about. We should always want it to be fair because at the end of the day, it's sport. It should be fair. And it's a dangerous sport. So we don't want nobody, you know, to get concussed for no damn reason. Now, do we? Don't with sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.